better. That's better. That's wonderful. <laughs> Eve again. Once upon a time in the world of time bandits, a young boy named Kevin goes on an incredible adventure through time with a group of thieving dwarves. They use a map of the universe's loopholes to jump through history and steal treasures along the way. I'm not gonna rob him. Every single penny he's got. One of the film's highlights is its journey through various historical eras. We encounter notable figures such as Napoleon, Robin Hood, humorously portrayed by John Cleese, and even King Agamemnon, played by Sean Connery. Despite being made in the early 80s, the special effects hold up surprisingly well. It is a fantastic journey that seamlessly blends history with fantasy, resulting in an unforgettable adventure. How could I know we're gonna run slap bang into an iceberg? It didn't say get off before the iceberg on the ticket. Help! Help! I'm drowning! A girl of ancient name shall become queen, that she shall choose a king, and that together they shall rule our world, and that their son shall rule the galaxy. Crawl merges fantasy and science fiction in a way that was quite bold for its time. The story follows Prince Colwyn, played by Ken Marshall, on his quest to rescue his bride, Princess Lyssa, from the clutches of the Beast, a malevolent entity from outer space. Colwyn's journey is a classic hero's tale that includes a magical weapon, a group of diverse companions, and a variety of mythical creatures. However, what makes this story unique is its setting. The world of the story is a place where medieval castles and alien landscapes coexist, which truly sets it apart from other tales. Crawl remains a fascinating piece of cinema. It's a film that dared to be different, a quality that resonates with its cult following. For fans of the fantasy and sci-fi genres, it's a must-watch for its creativity and boldness. My name is no jest bean pole. It's all very well to have a short name when you're 20 feet tall, but small people need large names to give them weight. Your actions give you weight, my friend. I have my eyes. I have my cunning. And now I have strength. The Beastmaster tells the story of Conan the Barbarian. Sorry, I meant Dar, a warrior with the ability to communicate with animals. Played by Mark Singer, Dar embarks on a quest for vengeance against a high priest who destroyed his village. Dar's journey is enriched by his unique companions, an eagle, a pair of ferrets named Kodo and Podo, and a majestic black tiger. These animals are not just sidekicks, they're integral to the story and Dar's character development. The Beastmaster is a story of revenge and destiny with a unique focus on the connection between humans and animals. This theme runs strongly throughout the movie and adds an emotional depth that is often lacking in other films of the sword and sorcery genre. not unlike escaping mother's womb. God, what a memory. Lady Hawk, a tale of love and curses set in medieval times. Our heroes, a thief named Philippe and a knight named Navarre, embark on a quest to break a curse that keeps lovers Navarre and Isabeau apart. By day, Isabeau becomes a hawk, and by night, Navarre transforms into a wolf, forever together, yet eternally apart. What makes Lady Hawk stand out in the realm of fantasy cinema is its heartfelt storytelling and the chemistry between its leads. Pfeiffer and Hauer bring a touching, desperate love to their roles that truly makes you root for their characters. Lady Hawk is a magical journey, a beautiful tapestry of love, curse, and redemption, makes it a film that stands out even decades later. princess. It's 
it's my right to set a challenge for my suitors. I will marry whoever finds this ring. Jack! Now you know why Tom Cruise can't resist a good cliff dive. Legend is a fantastical journey into a world where pure evil seeks to destroy innocence. The story revolves around Jack, played by a young Tom Cruise, and his love, Princess Lily, portrayed by Mia Sara. Their peaceful world is threatened when the Lord of Darkness, played memorably by Tim Curry, sets out to destroy the last of the unicorns and plunge the world into eternal darkness. Legend showcases its brilliance through its captivating atmosphere. Visually, the movie is a treat to watch. Ridley Scott's direction, along with the cinematography, conjures up a surreal world that blends fascination and terror. The performance of Tim Curry as the Lord of Darkness, without a doubt, is a standout. He brings a terrifying yet charismatic presence to the screen, making him one of the most memorable villains in fantasy cinema. Legend is a visually captivating and thematically rich film. Its portrayal of good versus evil, set in a beautifully crafted fantasy world, makes it a unique experience. Its artistic vision and the sheer scope of its imagination make it a film worth revisiting. John Borman's Excalibur is a sweeping adaptation of Thomas Mallory's 15th century work, Le Mort d'Arthur. It tells the story of King Arthur and the Knights of the Round Table from their rise to their fall. The film is known for its authentic portrayal of the dark and grim realities of medieval life, contrasting sharply with the mystical elements of the story. Borman infuses the film with a sense of magic and wonder that is very heart of Arthurian legends. The performances in Excalibur are another high point. Nicole Williamson's Merlin is eccentric and enigmatic, while Helen Mirren's Morgana is both alluring and menacing. Nigel Terry brings a sense of nobility and tragedy to Arthur, capturing the essence of a king caught between myth and reality. The movie also features Gabriel Byrne and Liam Neeson in supporting roles. Excalibur stands as a monumental achievement in the fantasy genre. It's a film that explores the darker aspects of legend and myth, with its grand portrayal of magic, chivalry, and destiny. It's a rich and visually captivating retelling of a classic story. In the Age of Wonder, a dying race ruled by a dying emperor, imprisoned within themselves in a dying land. The Dark Crystal transports us to Thra, a fantastical world filled with extraordinary creatures and deep mythology. The story revolves around Jen, a young Gelfling, on a quest to heal the shattered Dark Crystal and save his world from the tyranny of the Skeksis. Unlike anything seen before, this film was a departure from the typical fantasy genre of its time, not relying on human actors, but instead on an elaborate cast of puppetry and animatronics. Jim Henson and Frank Oz, known for their work with the Muppets, pushed the boundaries of puppetry to create a fully realized world. The level of detail in each character, from the noble mystics to the sinister Skeksis, is nothing short of astonishing. The Dark Crystal is a narrative rich in themes of balance, good versus evil, and unity. It's a tale that's deep enough for adults, but also has plenty of wonder and adventure for younger viewers. The Never-Ending Story directed by Wolfgang Peterson and based on the novel by Michael Endy, draws us into the life of Bastion, a young boy who seeks escape from his troubles by immersing himself in the adventures of a mysterious book. 
As Bastion reads, he's drawn into the fantastical world of Fantasia, which is being consumed by a dark force called the Nothing. Our hero in this world is Atreyu, tasked with a quest to save Fantasia. The film is a celebration of storytelling, a reminder of how books can be windows to other worlds. It resonates with anyone who has ever found solace in the pages of a book. The never-ending story is a timeless classic. For those who grew up with it, it's a nostalgic trip. For new viewers, an invitation to experience the magic of storytelling. Is she going to say it? Say what? <laughs> Labyrinth, another Jim Henson creation produced by George Lucas. This film tells the story of Sarah portrayed by a young Jennifer Connelly, who in a moment of frustration, wishes her baby brother away to the Goblin King, portrayed by the iconic David Bowie. Sarah's journey to rescue her brother takes her through the labyrinth, a world of bewildering mazes, bizarre creatures, and mind-bending puzzles. Labyrinth is a coming-of-age story. It's about growing up, facing your fears, and the sometimes painful journey from childhood to adulthood. Sarah's adventures in the labyrinth are a metaphor for her own inner battles and growth. Labyrinth is more than just a fantasy movie. It's a journey through a richly imagined world filled with challenges, growth, and the magic of Jim Henson's vision, creating a movie that's enchanting for all ages. Did you say it? <laughs> The Fall, directed by Tarsum Singh, is set in a 1920s Los Angeles hospital. The story revolves around Roy, a stuntman with a broken heart, and Alexandria, a young girl with a broken arm. Roy begins telling Alexandria an epic tale that mirrors his emotional state, which comes to life through the film's breathtaking visuals. It's a story about stories the power they hold, and their ability to heal and transform us. It explores themes of despair, redemption, and the resilience of the human spirit in the most poetic way possible. The film is a visual masterpiece. Filmed across several countries, each scene is a painting that comes to life. Lee Pace as Roy delivers a performance that's rich with emotion, complemented brilliantly by the young Katinka Unteru's portrayal of Alexandria. Their chemistry is not just compelling, it's the soul of this film. The Fall is an underrated gem that's rich in both visual splendor and emotional depth. Its unique blend of storytelling, performance, and visual artistry makes it a standout cinematic experience. Thank you for watching, and for more underrated movies, be sure to subscribe to Underrated Cinema.